Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. I'll show you two write, wrote in with a uh, question, concern, complaint about how the SP404 Mark II moves between patterns and banks. Um, I, I think a lot of people would like the patterns to be linked to the pad sample banks that you're playing. But for example, I can play this pattern. If I hit pattern chain, it's just going to go to wherever the last bank was that I was on. So if you want all of your um, patterns on bank A, for example, to only use pads from bank A, really the only way that you can kind of get the SP404 Mark II to follow that is you hold rec hit record, hit the bank, and then hit record again, and it will bring you to the sample bank that you've last used. But if I move over to like bank C, I can play whatever I want here. If I hit exit, and then hit pattern, you can see it's gonna go back to C. So it's really um, only this record mechanic that will bring you from the pattern to the the pattern bank to the sample bank that you are that matches it. Beyond that, you're allowed to freely freely move wherever you'd like. I don't know if Roland would ever make a uh, setting or anything to kind of change this behavior, but I also would say. I think there's, I get wanting to have pattern A match bank A for samples and things, but I would also say it kind of restricts you and constrains you in ways that maybe you should at least consider that it's okay to use samples from any of the banks that you've recorded because at some point you're going to probably get like 16 patterns here. Are you really going to use all 16 patterns and only constrain yourself down to the 16 samples that you've got? Probably not, but again, it just depends on how you want to organize things and kind of work through it. So my advice is if you really want to make sure that it is bringing over the, the pattern and then matching to the same sample bank, the best way to do it is just make sure you hit record first. Hit record. You can tap record again once it gets started and just go in rehearsal mode. You can kind of noodle around, try things, and see what you like before you commit to it. Anyway, I hope that helps. Keep making music, everybody. Keep have, uh, having fun. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.